When I came to Britain just a little while back with my rawhide jacket and my ten-gallon hat, things were quiet, not much going on, no riots or nothing. And then the Beatles came along, put up the crash barriers, take a deep breath, run for cover. No need to tell you what happened to these boys. They thought up a sound, some say a noise. It ain't too sweet, it ain't too rough, but it's right for the times. Times are tough. If you can't a beetle, that is. Guess they ain't doing so bad. Hit record here and there. Now, when you look at all them photographs and things, there's one thing's clear aside from Ringo and his rings. These guys between them, they sure got some hair. I'm losing mine. Don't seem fair. Tried all kinds of things. Nothing works. Guess I'll get me a toupee. Beetle style. What else? Now my daughter, as a rule, is quiet as a mouse, and you'd hardly ever know she was around the house. But when them beetles start giving out, she takes on to hollering and starts to shout. Jumps clean out of her pram. Shakes her rattle like a football fan. Doggone. Nine months old and beetle crazy. Well, I figured one day that I ought to know just what happens at a beetle show. So I phoned for tickets and the fellow said, fine, we've got two here for uh, 1989. So I took them, had them framed, hung on the wall. Might sell out if the price is right. Now there's beetles in the bathtub, beetles on the floor, and there's a couple now crawling through my door. Beetles in the waste pipe and beetles in the sink, and them beetles are smarter than some folks think. Can't shake them loose. Would somebody pass the DDT? They're still there. George, John, Ringo, and Paul. Think I'll head back to the hills. 